And now we're recording. <laughs> I forgot to start recording until just now. Whoops. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I might just keep this or I might download the VOD. I don't know. We'll see. We dances in circles. We slurps up the paint. If you think that's your business, trust me, it ain't. Nice rhymes. How do, if I jump on them, what happens? The drop thing seems like a bad idea. So I'm going to do it. Oh, it works. Ow! <laughs> On the gamepad, when you're choosing your attacks, you can't, like... Like, you have to use the touchpad to scroll through your items. You can't just, uh... You can't press the D-pad to scroll through them. It's rather annoying. Ow. <laughs> oh, this game has, like, peril music. Great. <laughs> it's my favorite. I like it when you get low on health and the music just gets worse. <laughs> Let's see, can I use a healing item in the overworld? Uh, okay. So on the main menu, we have three, uh, three main things we can look at. We have status. Status just shows us, uh, like our HP and stuff. It says we have 54% completion in Ruddy Road. Interesting. Oh, you can scroll through all the levels in this game. Not, whoa, okay. There's a lot of levels. There's a lot of fucking levels. Jesus. Okay. Uh, cards. That's just our attacks. Okay, I was looking for a mushroom. I want to use a mushroom. Can I use this? I cannot use it. Okay, I have to be in battle to use my healing item, I guess. Fantastic. Oh, so we have to go find these guys? Okay, gotcha. Uh, I think that's one up there, right? Kind of looks like it. Must be this way. Oh, we got a healing thing. Is that one time use? I bet it's like one time per like entrance into the level. So if we come back here later, we can use it again. If you jump on an enemy or whack it with your hammer before battle starts, you'll do some early damage. Also, you can change your battle controls in the menu. The advanced controls allow you to set and paint cards in one step. The advanced control. Oh, that sounds way better. <laughs> How do I do that? Uh, where is this menu you speak of? The battle menu? Maybe you, maybe I have to go into battle first. Let's see here. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of battle menu that would let me do that. Worn out hammer times three. So that's not three stickers. That's just one sticker that I guess lets you attack three times. I don't know. In case you don't know, I have not played this game before. I played a, li I played a little bit of, of a sticker star. But really just a little bit. 
I wonder if this game has autosaving or if it's like the old games where like if you die you go back to your save point. I imagine it's like that. Beware the paint thieves. You would think said paint thieves would take down the sign. Unless they're the ones that put it up. Thinking emoji. There's a mini paint store over there. That was easier than I thought it would be. Hurry up and grab it so it can show us the way to the next paint star. I guess that's how this works. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go, ingenious? Get over here and grab the. Okay, fine. Jesus. This one's like not fully colored. Will the stickers be as bad as Sticker Star? <laughs> I'm optimistic that the game will will be better than Sticker Star. Hold up, what in the Lost Levels is going on here? The color, it's been drained. This is a sick world we live in. That punk. <laughs> After him, we'll make him pay for this. Alright, we're off. How come I can't? Weird. I'm gonna get max coins, like, pretty quickly. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, it's that guy again. Okay. I was so excited about being first in line that I forgot I'm allergic to coffee. Look, Mara, you have... You may have saved all of our lives countless times, but that doesn't mean you can't cut in line. I love lines. I don't even know what this line is for. I don't even care. You trying to cut in line? Unforgivable. Wow. <laughs> I like how the battlefield changes depending on where you are. That's nice. Then money would, would, would be pointless? Well, so I think it's the opposite. You need money to buy all of your attacks. But then it's like actually doing the fights in the first place. It's like a losing proposition, because then you just use your items. <laughs> or you, you use all your attacks. So, like, even though you get coins at the end, like, you're still using your attacks. That's why it's dumb that Sticker Star doesn't have an experience system. And also this game, I guess. Although, I guess I never got that far in Sticker Star, so it could be that, like, money was still pointless, because you just found enough attacks anyway in the wild. This is our first Koopa, I think. I like how Toad is in the background just watching two customers brawl for coffee. <laughs> I wonder if we jump on him, will he go spinning away? Oh, I just realized, I never... Oh, okay. When I chose to jump there, it never asked me who I wanted to aim for. I just noticed you automatically just attack whoever's in front, even if you're jumping. You got Koopa Troopa. Okay, then. <laughs> we did it, guys. We got Koopa Troopa. Good job. Let's see if we can figure out what that means. Uh, he looks like he's just a card. <laughs> I guess you summon him and then you can kick his shell. Settings, here we go. I found the settings. Enable off TV play? I don't think I want that. Combat controls. Uh, advanced touch controls? No, I don't know about that. Okay, so I found a setting for basic plus buttons, which I guess is like exactly what we have now, but it would let me use 
the actual buttons to choose my attacks, which sounds nice. I don't know what advanced touch controls are. I don't see anything in here that's like about battle. Or I guess it says combat controls right there. All right, I'll try advanced touch controls. See what that is. Earlier it said that we could speed up our combat by like doing two steps in one. So I want to see if I can find that. Because when you choose a card, I guess you guys haven't seen it because you can't see the gamepad. But it's like, first you choose your card, then you confirm, then you like paint it, then you confirm again. You know, there's like four or five steps just to choose just to choose one attack. Whoa, oh, he's got a spike head. You can watch the blank stream while you play, exactly. I wonder if that would, hmm. That might be worth trying, actually. Because you figure if they put all of the game's information on the gamepad, so you can play off, off you know, off the TV, uh, maybe they do the same on the TV, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just, you know, man, it's like even if there was like experience and you like had unlimited attacks like in the old games, like something about the combat in this game is just very unsatisfying. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the sound effects or, or like the timing commands. That shy guy's making off with the mini paint stars paint after him. All right, I'm, I was getting to it. Jesus. Calm down, man. All right, let's see if we can try, uh... <laughs> Enable off-TV play. Uh, oh, yep, okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, press question mark in the menu to change settings. How do I open the menu now? We're back. Hey, number up. It's Platoon, but bad. <laughs> I am once again at Color Splash. We're in Ruddy Road still. I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of fucking levels. Like, Ruddy Road is just like one of like 50 levels. I was able to scroll through them in the, men in the menu earlier. They were all blanked out except for Ruddy Road, so I don't know like what they were called. I have to explain all this because you can't see the fucking gamepad. I also realized, number at, that uh, you can't choose who you target. You have to fight whoever's in front no matter what. Unless you like choose an attack that hits all, I imagine. Let's try a worn out hammer times three. Let's see what this is all about. Can I not paint this card? Hmm. Oh, there we go, okay. Just do a gamepad cam. Yeah, it's a little harder than I would like. <laughs> oh, yeah, Oni Link, you mentioned that you bought this game. Did you ever finish it? How far did you get? Was it worth finishing? <laughs> I think this is technically the last Wii U game I ever bought because I bought it like recently, so it, it has to be the most recent Wii U game I bought. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's, that's new, right? Interesting, okay. We got hidden items. Hop Slipper, I remember that from Sticker Star, I think. I'm so glad that came back, that classic attack. I know I mentioned it earlier, but in Sticker Star, I only ever beat Chapter 1. <laughs> that's how far I got. But the only other Paper Mario I played was 64. It's good that you enjoyed it. I probably shouldn't have used that. <laughs> Can 
I just grab this? Okay, you got me. I give up. I regret my life choices. Aw. <laughs> I'll return the pain I stole. It's like they say, you can't fight City Hall or City Plumbing. Come on, let's head back to that paint star thing. After you, I insist. Nani? <laughs> Our first partner! Oh boy! Can I, like, unravel this? Yeah. So we can go this way now. I wonder if this is the way we are supposed to go? Looks like it, okay. This shy guy has had more character development than, like, anybody in the last two Paper Mario games. <laughs> Sorry Mario had a huge lunch rush today, and we're fresh out of everything. Maybe lay off the snooze button a bit, eh, big guy? What, you want me- you want my seat? Buzz off, plumber boy. Dude, if that knife and fork on the sign fell off, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> okay. Why is there an umbrella? There's an umbrella, like, going into his thing. I'm not a cool kid who play TTYD. If you ever get around to it, it's worth playing, but you don't have to. <laughs> That's okay. This coffee is really expensive, but at least it's drinkable. <laughs> Ow, I burned my mouth on the coffee. <laughs> I got nervous having so many people in line behind me, so I just ordered the first thing on the menu. That is... Oh god, that's so relatable. <laughs> I will now unslurp the paint from the paint star. I'll probably want to supervise me to make sure I don't try anything funny. What's the bucket called from Splatoon? Then black? No, I meant... <laughs> uh, okay. I said last two Paper Mario games, so technically you're right. That would include Paper, Super Paper Mario, but I meant this game and Sticker Star. Or is this the end of the road? Heh. <laughs> oh, he fooled us! His character development was all for naught! Wait, so like, what? Okay. What if I just stand still? <laughs> do, I, do I get hit? Toad, watch out! <laughs> oh, you do get hit! Okay, wow. Jesus! Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die! I can't... There's no dashing in this game. It curled all the way over, and now we're stuck. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I, can't. I remember when the shy guy said, I can't imagine what would happen if that fork and knife fell over, and now it, it did. They rolled up Righty Road. My cafe is sky high. Since everything is paper, they could get wet and die. They could, you're right. It's a good thing the water is made out of paper. Someone probably already owns the trademark for Sky High Cafe. Can't you, I don't know, unroll the ground somehow, Mario? I'll look into it. We have our best people on the case. Looks like it's stuck to the ground somehow. It's no use hitting it from this side. <laughs> oh, I can't get up there either. Unless I can, like, jump off this guy. Oh, check that out. Number we also found out that you can't use healing items outside of battle, it seems. Which is very cool. I thought of it just now, because we're at 15 health. I wonder what happens if you die in that segment. You'll probably just go back to your save point, which is pretty fucked up. <laughs> Beware the paint thieves. We should have bewared them more, if only we heeded their warning. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> oh dear. Can't you, I don't know, unroll? Yeah. Uh, can I hammer it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
no one messes with my cafe and gets away with it. Can't they just roll it back? <laughs> I get in here. Ooh. If only this game had like an interesting hidden collectible I could look for. Too bad it doesn't, I don't think. There is a surplus of paint like everywhere. I know that might not always be the case, but for now it definitely is. Good job, team. Alright, I think that'll do it for today's stream. No, I'm joking. We'll keep going. Oh, shit. I was already full on paint, but thank you. How about some hearts? No? Okay. That's a, that's fine. You're still on newbie road. I do like how it, like, paints the next area you go to. That's, that's neat. Like, if you have to put a world map into a Paper Mario game, which you shouldn't do, May as well do it like this. 96%? Damn. I wonder if I like actually missed one or if it's one that we can't do yet. Um, I don't know what the... Oh, we're supposed to go back to him once we find his, his purple squatties. That's right. <laughs> Naturally. Um, should I go buy things? With our money? With our currency? At the store? At poor Prisma? All right, let me think. Uh, we are looking for the store. I think there's an inn here too, but I don't know if it like functions like an inn. I can already tell that I'm gonna love this game from its dialogue alone. I do admit the dialogue is pretty good. At first, I think they they were laying it on very uh, thickly, which is definitely a word. I think this is actually the action command, like dojo. So I don't think I want that. I want the store. But yeah, I think the dialogue is what's going to keep me engaged throughout all of this. I think that's what's going to make this a fun stream game. So this is all new to me. Nice. It's definitely a series worth trying. Especially since uh, we might be getting a new one this year. If the rumors are true. It has been foretold in the Ancient Scrolls. I love that, I love how that toad still has the postmark still on the back of his head. Got you, fam. You gonna pay for that? Wait, what's going on? Where'd they go? I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws, and then everything went white. I wasn't slacking off, boss, I swear. I'll go drum up some more customers. Wow, the boss was really not concerned with his employee. What if this game is just a big allegory for capitalism? Well, I honestly wouldn't be shocked if there were some jokes to that effect, <laughs> given how the given how the dialogue has been so far. Many thanks for helping me out. Prisma Cardware is back in business. So like I could sell. So like an unpainted jump card is three coins. A painted jump card is ten. You can see how the economy works. I think since there's such a surplus of paint, like the non-painted ones might be more valuable. <laughs> Um, alright. I guess we'll buy. 200 for a fire flower. I must have not used it correctly. We tried using it earlier. Throws up to four fireballs at multiple. If, ex if executed well. Well, how come you didn't give me any fucking button prompts? <laughs> Quickly stomps on a single enemy. Up to ten times. Um, I don't know what we need right now. I guess. Like I mentioned, we have so many... We have, like, we get so much paint, it's like, we, we may as well just buy these, these unpainted ones. Unpainted fire flower. Fine. Alright, that feels pretty good. I mean, I'm sure we can get away with just not buying anything, but I thought I should try it. How about that inn, though? I will say, out of all the Paper Mario games, this is definitely, like, the fourth best hub world. So that's pretty good. I 
uh, actually honestly this this hub world might actually be better than uh, flip side i don't hate flip side it's just navigating it is kind of annoying <laughs> You know what's a 2D game that has really nice hub worlds is Shantae. Shantae has nice hubs. Here we go. I was looking for this. Let me heal. How come we only have one bed? Isn't this a quaint room? How adorable. I hope you don't mind me resting here while you and Huey go after the paint stars. I think I speak for Mario when I say not at all, princess. Excuse me. With any luck, we'll have recovered all the paint stars before we even finish napping. Thank you, Huey. May you stay crisp in the face of- Oh, that's right, you don't have to rest. Peach just has healing magic. Be super useful if we brought her with us. Too many loading screens? I haven't been looking out for them. Prism Island is a vibrant and diverse natural wonder from shore to shore. From its lush forests to the heart of its fiery volcano, our island's island offers scenic beauty and local hospitality. And don't miss our number one attraction, Port Prisma's Prisma Fountain. It's a glorious rainbow. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, book. Very cool. The transition from going into a building isn't nearly as satisfying as it is in... Oh, you're right, actually, yeah. Not only, not only was there a loading screen there, but yeah. In those two games, you get like, like they make a thing out of the loading screens. They're not, they're not even really loading screens. I definitely see what you mean. How far Paper Mario's fallen? I think we can just leave. Good job, team. Alright, 96%. We'll come back there later once we have the purple squaddies. Cherry Lake. I wonder if it's possible to ever increase our HP. I know it's possible to raise our uh, our max paint, but that's that's different. Ooh. Maybe it goes without say, but like the Wii U and Switch era, they've started uh, doing a lot of games with very... Uh, stylized graphics and visuals like this game in Wooly World. Crafted World. <laughs> that toad was trying so hard. You saw it too, right? A toad just fell off that airship. He must have fallen somewhere in this lake. I hope he's okay. We should go look for him. Alright. After I grab that little puddle of paint. Oh, neat. Alright. Uh, what do we do here? There's something stuck to the other side. I don't think we can open it from here. We really need to get in there. <laughs> he did. If we can just get on top of those blocks, we should be able to drop down to the other side. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Yes, there's a clear line. What? I'm going to teach you a mind-blowing technique. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. See this line on the gate? Looks like stairs, right? When you see clear lines like this in the world, you can use the cutout technique. Go ahead and press Y. Bam, that dotted line there? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you summoned it using my ancient magic. We can use this power to transcend dimensions and cut out part of the background. Get cutting, Mario. What? <laughs> Look at the gamepad, guys. <laughs> we stepped out of our dimension. How's my lid feel? Comfy? Oh, we're currently sitting on... Uh... Bucket Man. Okay, now start from the bright, shining point and trace along the, botted, the dotted line to cut it out. Alright, so there's a little X uh, on the screen showing where we can, uh, draw to cut out this part of the world. It's very slow. How do I... Is there, like, a way I'm supposed to do this? Uh, 
Am I dragging it? So it's a pair of scissors going along the dotted line. Oh, you can do it really quick. Okay, I see now. <laughs> this is very background. <laughs> this, you know, you know what this would be good for. This screen right here is when we're doing our Fey reviews, <laughs> or our, our our banner videos. We can keep this in the background. That would actually be nice. All right, we have now cut out part of the background. Okay, if for some reason they still haven't gone back to the TV, even though they probably can, because I think we're done using the, the, the touchpad. Uh, so now we are standing on top of one of those blocks, moving over to, uh, you know, whatever, you'll see it here. <laughs> I love how whenever we do this, it's just gonna, it's just gonna, the screen's gonna go blank. And then when we come back, it's like, we did it! If you see a dotted line up here, that means you can use cutout. All right, let's drop down to the other side of the gate and look for that fallen toad. You know, in the other Paper Mario games, you have to like unlock that ability, right? Like an SPM. Ooh. Hey, thanks, mom. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. However, I'm now working full time. I no longer need more money. <laughs> I still appreciate it though. Everyone say hi to mom. Actually, you know what? I think I forget if I bought this game for myself or if mom bought this for me. <laughs> she might have actually. And you know, what? I'm pretty sure mom bought it for me. So thank you, mom. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I'm a terrible person, I forgot what gifts my mom got for me. Kill the turtle? Oh, I will. I think we don't even need to color the, the card for this, right? Because we're just going to kick the shell. Yeah. I forgot to. We're good. Just wanted to say goodnight. Yeah, have a good night, Mom. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you had a nice weekend. Are these shy guys gonna fight me? What's your problem, bub? You don't want to stack up with us? Ooh, I bet you think you're so cool being a single shy guy. We're only rolling four deep. We need one more to be a five stack, yo. Enough talk. Stack em, boys. Check out the ratty mustache on this one stack over here. <laughs> it looks like your upper lip found a tanuki suit. Stack this clown. I like the shy guys. Oh god! Well damn, alright. Gotta pull out the big guns for this. We're, we're gonna use this guy. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it, it is just like Paper Jam. In Paper Jam, Paper Mario gets like uh, copies he can use, and that's like his HP. It's actually a cool system. I really like the combat in Paper Jam. Which is funny because it's 
Like, it probably has, like, the best combat gameplay of any Mario and Luigi, but it's also the only one that has Paper Mario in it. Which is funny, because the, the combat gameplay in these games are it's pretty bad. <laughs> in the newer ones, anyway. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, weird. I don't know what I expected. Okay, we're moving on. I know you're supposed to be the enemy and stuff, but thanks for scrapping those guys. I might be all soggy now, but I'd rather be soggy than be stacked with them. They say that one guy can't make a difference, that I should just be another cog in the machine. But I don't care what they think. I'm living my life as a single layer of shy guy awesomeness. I must have hit my head harder than I thought. You better take this before I pass out. Max cards up? Oh. Okay. Oh! You can play two cards per turn now? Well, alright then. <laughs> Seems like a pretty big deal. Not just fun, studies show that stacking in groups of five can increase HP and lower cholesterol. Two Shy Guy 4 stacks right on cue. Let's experiment with that second card slot. Set two cards at once and unleash mayhem. Will do. Shy Guy just called... <laughs> just called you flesh face despite both of you being made of paper. Maybe streaming the PMD remake when it comes out? I might actually, although it does depend. I might do it like I did uh, Let's Go like a year ago, where like I don't stream the entire game, but I stream like parts of it. You know, just wherever I happen to be in the game. Alright, let's use our two card slots. Fortunately, you, you only have to flick once, you don't have to flick twice for each card. That'd be annoying. Combo. Yeah, that shy guy died. <laughs> he's very soggy now. He's sleeping with the he's sleeping with the cheap cheeps now. Oh. <laughs> we found his shoes. You got Toad's shoes. I don't want to see Toad's bare feet. Absolutely not. We should just leave. <laughs> we are not going to nut in Toad's shoes. Oak's voice echoed. There's a time and place for everything. Now is not the time to get nutty. Do I even need two cards? I wonder what happens if, like, I kill them with the first card. Does the second card still get used? Weird. You get so much paint for killing dudes. So I guess if you want to be a completionist, you kind of have to. Well, you don't have to, but you'll end up uh, beating all the enemies, because then you get paint, which you can use to paint everything. Oh, I see. 
Hurry up. I will say, I like the music here. It's pretty chill. Uh, where do I want to be right now? I want to be back there. Oh no, it's Toad's Pants. I really don't want to see Toad now. I don't want to see Toad without shoes or pants. What was that? Oh, that was the... Okay, when you press Y, you do the cutout thing. But we had nothing to cut out, so it didn't work. We got Toad's pants. Very concerned. This is not a Toad I want to see anymore. Massive toad dick. <laughs> okay, but why? Is it just me, or is the perspective... Like, maybe not the perspective, but, like... I preferred it in the first two games, where, like, the battlefield was just... Like, plain horizontal. Why is he trying to kill us now? Bastard. I thought we were friends. I want to be getting his hat. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a very cursed image that you're wanting to see. This is a small thing, but I, I find it strange that they even have the worn-out jumps and the worn-out hammers. Because it's just like, you know, oh, this is just like your normal jump or your normal hammer, but it's worse. Like, if they were going to have tiers of your attacks, why not just have the basic jump and the basic hammer be the first tier, and then you go from there, instead of going up from the one where it's like, oh no, this one's shitty. Didn't read comment above mine. Let's see. <laughs> My setup today is a little different, so I have um I have chat over on, like, my right monitor. I guess I could just move it, actually. I forget why I did that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, there. Now I have chat. And, oh, yeah, I did that so I would see alerts when they came up. That's right. Can I do pop-out chat? Uh, oh, God, I missed everything. Okay, we still got it. Saw guy. Saw gee saw guy. I get it. That's good. Where's my pop out chat? Is that just not a thing anymore? Pause chat? Well, I don't want to pause chat. Why is that an option? You can pause chat, but you can't pop it out. Okay, well. I'll just keep OBS over here. If I get any alerts, you guys better tell me. <laughs> Oh no! There's a toad clinging to that tree. Do you think that's the toad we fell off? Do you think that's the toad who fell off the airship? He looks like he could get blown away any second. <laughs> that shy guy tumbled into us. Pause chat, do it? No. <laughs> Look at it, it's windy, so everything's moving. I 
I will say you transition out of battle pretty quickly. So that's nice. As soon as you use your hammer, you like get pushed. His pants and underpants are exactly the same. You're not wrong. Scenic viewpoint. A mountain view so beautiful, you'll want to cut it out and keep it. Okay, I'm now in the background, like in the way background. <laughs> I'm running over the hill, going to the right. And now I'm over here. <laughs> and I thought I was your biggest fan, Mario. Weird non-flat objects like this are called things. And just like when I turn flat, these things can be wrung out. So go ahead and press A to give it a good squeeze. You got the fan! The blades inside rotate at high speed to create an ice breeze. Cool. How was that fan there? <laughs> Who put it there? What are the what are the lore implications for this? Ice flower. Ooh. I guess we can just use that to beat our enemies from now on, yeah. <laughs> I think in Sticker Star you could use them as, a, as like attacks, so... I mean, I guess that's probably, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Although it's in a different menu from our normal attacks. It's in the thing menu, I imagine. Uh, so there, so on the gamepad menu, there's no. Oh, so the fan is here. And painting it didn't cost any paint, so that's kind of weird. See if it's still still in our menu. It's gone. <laughs> well, damn. All right. Maybe should have saved that. It's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. I can't believe that was single use. 
I mean, I guess I, I should have figured, but... <laughs> Oh, you, you get coins for doing uh, timed hits correctly. That was weird. I just noticed. I like this shy guy face. This is going to take a lot of paint. Is it just near the game quiet? Damn it. Let's see. Uh, well, thank you for pointing it out, <laughs> obviously. Um, I will try putting it up. Is that better? This song is like a little more quiet, but. Much better, okay. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't really check the audio today because I was plugging into my TV so I could hear the game. <laughs> we got him. So this should just be a, a one shot, just like with every Koopa. I want to jump, not a hammer. I mentioned earlier, I do like how the- oh, whoa! <laughs> there was a wall back there, so it bounced back and hit us. That's actually really funny. <laughs> I was gonna say, I like how the battles the battle backgrounds change depending on where you are. Was the fan actually single use? Yep. That was single use, and now I don't have it anymore. Feels bad. <laughs> and now I'm down here. weekend. I tried to get things done, and for the most part I was successful, but then today I got carried away playing Conquest because I still can't beat the fucking last chapter. <laughs> it's pissing me off a lot. I would actually, let's actually use Koopa. Our first partner. It's a little insulting, honestly. <laughs> Your partners are are delegated to just being single-use items now. Can I get over there right now? No. That was Coops, and there he went. He's gone now. Sorry, you can't see the gamepad. I don't have that kind of technology. Unfortunately. Some people on YouTube, like, they can stream their gamepad, and I have no idea how they do it. It has, like, this port on the bottom, and, like, it looks a little bit like an HDMI port, but I don't think that's what it is. My weekend was alright, I guess. Parents left, and I can't go to my friend's place, but at least I granted money in Pokemo. I redesigned my Grove House character to look more like a Velociraptor. That's cool. Sounds like a pretty chill weekend. I 
Now it's full of water. Okay. Way to go, team. Oh, there's a paint star over there, I think. It's very small. In the first three Paper Mario games, there were certain themes that they would, like, come back to and reference occasionally. Like, little things. Like, in the first game and the third game, they had this this gimmick where, like, when you're playing as a character besides Mario, you could, like, choose what enemies Mario ends up fighting. Actually, no, I think that's, that's just how it worked in 64. I think in Paper, Super Paper Mario, it was more like, which of these things would you like to fight the least? But that's just one example. I'm curious if things like that will come back in this game. <clears throat> Won't be back for a week, so that sucks. Hope I can celebrate my friend's birthday since it's on Valentine's Day. I see. And I hope you don't get too lonely. That is kind of a bummer. When is Valentine's Day? Next Friday. Okay, well this Friday. Not that I need to know. <laughs> I was just curious. We got Toad's coat? Shirt? Toad's vest. Oh, it's like in the water. Oh, that, oh, that's the reflection. Okay. Weird. How can there be a... Wait. It, I'm very confused. How can paper water have a reflection in it? I grinded the new training event in Pokemon Masters. Very nice. Worked on a research paper. That's right. You, you finished that pretty early in the weekend, relatively. So, good job. Played TMS. I started putting together a doubles mono-flying team for Pokemon League server I'm in. Sounds productive. Very good. How do I do this? <laughs> Mario, you fool, you needed the fan for this. Where'd you put it? I used it to kill some shy guys, actually. The red toad is stuck in a tree. We've got to get him down. That is not useful at all. <laughs> is that really all he has to say? Did you ever get him down? Valentine's Day is when I'm going to see the Pokemon movie. Oh, wait, <laughs> Pokemon movie. The Sonic movie, yeah. Yeah, I forgot it's coming out on Valentine's Day. I might... I can't justify going to watch it. Like, if it were a good movie, it, w it wouldn't be weird if, if I went by myself, but since it's, like, a bad movie... Yeah, I don't know. Well, okay, it might... I shouldn't say that. Since it's a Sonic movie specifically, I can't just go to the movies and watch it by myself. Please understand. <laughs> oh, I got some days off. That's cool. Usually you can't use cutout unless the camera's like panned down slightly. Maybe, maybe there's more water here now. No? Oh, we can go back here though. Okay. Apparently a lot of people from my school go skiing on this coming weekend. 
so they gave you a day off just for that? Damn. That's pretty cool. I did not need to see a toad in Jess's underpants. <laughs> Mario, thanks for the save. Too bad you couldn't save my dignity. You're the toad who fell from the airship, right? I'm glad you're not you're not hurt, but you seem more naked than your average toad. My clothes fell off when I fell from the airship. I wanted to teach those paint-stealing villains a lesson, so I jumped on their ship. But that thing is faster than it looks, I was hanging on for dear life, and my grip finally gave out. But mark my words, I will deliver swift toad justice to those filthy paint pilferers. For I am the toad who casts light on the shadows of injustice. I am. Justice Toad. I assure you there is no sh face straighter. I am the hero that Prism Island needs. But before I can save the world, I'll need to comply with public indecency laws. My overdrive gravity boots. Using those, I can harness the power of gravity to stay on the ground. Behold, the Mega Splendiferous Tights, crucial for protecting my heroic hindquarters. <laughs> you're, just wearing, you're just wearing two pairs of underwear. <laughs> Is that what all toads do? I can't believe this is canon now. I wonder, wait, do I get off for President's Day? Let's see. No, I definitely don't. I don't have a day off from work until like April. That's my legendary chest armor, the hyper fabulous jacket. That's just a normal vest. I didn't need Huey butting in to clarify that they were normal clothing items. Yeah, I guess people usually don't get President's Day off, like, from work. That's only a school thing, I guess. Maybe it's like a floating holiday? I don't know. Whoa! Push him into the water. He'll drown. Do it. Where are all my jumps? All I have is, like, super jumps like this. Until April. Is it 420? Uh, it's April 10th. <laughs> what is that for? Let's see. What is that holiday? Oh, Good Friday. I guess that makes sense. That adds up. Until then, I'm, I'm not taking a single day off. I'm going to be the, the best worker they have. I'm going to have a better work ethic than anybody else. It's absolutely not gonna happen. I might take a day off this week, actually, so I can go get, like, my new driver's license. Six, six, nine. Nice. Should have uh, painted that, huh?
Look, a red mini paint star. So Cherry Lake has a red one and a blue one. Yeah, I see. Interesting. Does it count as two levels then? Wait, I don't know if I actually want to do this. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have to now. We can't just like back out. Now I'm back here. Oh, we can just grab it now, huh? I feel like I didn't really do anything. <laughs> we still gotta save the toad. So we could just move on if we wanted to? Is that the idea? Or is that just like the other part of the, the area? Let's see what's going on. Cherry Lake. Oh, that's just a whole new area. How come there's no tower on the map? <laughs> it's called Crimson Tower, but there's no tower here. Also, it looks like that's the last level in this world. Do I want to go back? I mean, we, we can try it, I guess. the segments where you can't see what's happening on screen. <laughs> Next time I'll try to explain more. We've already collected all the mini paint star in this course. Once you've cleared a course, you can press... Yeah, okay, thank you. So I guess we're gonna look for Toad's, uh, clothing? I don't know. We'll hang out for a minute and see what we can do here. Keep your eyes peeled. To be fair, though, we, we've, we've just been getting tiny uh, mini paint stars. We haven't gotten a big paint star yet. So I imagine we'll have a boss coming up here. Hopefully we'll have time, hopefully we'll have time to do it today. Although I think, yeah, like every other Paper Mario game would have had like a boss by now. <laughs> so that's actually a good point. <laughs> But how high does it go? Oh. So I definitely don't want to fight all the dudes again. That's a big waste of time, so, uh... <laughs> I mean, I'll kill these guys, I guess, but... Go get him, shy guy. I like that shy guy stays there until the end of the fight, just in case I need him. Whoa. It's odd that these blocks, like, regenerate when you come back. Alright, I'm going to try not to fight everything again. We ain't got time for that. Oh shoot. Let's see how this works. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It, it said, like, fight, but I was actually just fleeing, so I don't know why it said that. I don't think there's anything back there. Also, what garment of clothing was Toad missing? His pants, probably? 
like other like more pants on top of his underpants. I don't know. It's weird that you can just like move on without like resolving that issue. <laughs> oh, so you can grind stickers or cards by doing this if you wanted to. Move. So like if we wanted a if we wanted a particular attack card, we could like just enter the level, leave, come back in. We could do that. Oh, we can get a new fan. That's good news. Can I skip this cutscene? No. So we could have grind fans if we wanted to. So we're looking for Toad's pants. And a way to find that, or a way to get that mini paint star. I wonder if you just have to come back later when you can like jump farther. Or whatever. That could be what's going on here. So I could stay here and grind, but I would just be grinding like money and cards, which are useful, but not that useful. Oh, grind fans, yeah. So I could, I could grind fans, you're right. <laughs> which could be useful, but I think we're okay. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any clothing here. This might have been a waste of time. I just think it's so weird that, like, they just had us move on without <laughs> without finding his clothing or whatever. Like, was that supposed to be a side quest? I don't understand. So how does this work? Can I, like, dodge this? That'd be cool if I could. Oh, you can block it. Okay, I guess that's better than nothing. And that might be the speed run shred, honestly. I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, you can oh you can grind um hammers. That's a pretty big deal, I suppose. We haven't like we haven't run out of paint yet, but yeah. So you could do that as well. I think we're done here. <laughs> I think if we could find Toad's other clothing, we would have found it already during our first playthrough. Right? Lame. Alright, let's fight the boss. Or the boss level, I guess. I see, so I'm, I'm guessing that means there's more than one paint star in each of these. Crimson Tower. I can smell a big load of paint beyond that gate. It smells like red paint. Way stronger than the red mini paint stars that led us here. The red big paint star must be in the Crimson Tower beyond this gate. Hey, it's Danny. Welcome. I came here from Port Prisma to... Wait, why did I come here again? I came to see the bridge to the Crimson Tower. It's supposed to be a truly remarkable bridge. Any bridge builder worth their saw studied it. But while I was trying to open this gate, some guy snuck up on me with a straw. <laughs> but then you came along and saved me, so thanks for that. Are you some sort of bridge builder or something? I'm a bridge builder by trade. Wow, I wish... I wish the the bridge repair guru looked even remotely different from all the other toads that we've seen so far. I think this might be the first green one, but uh I'm not I'm not impressed. <laughs> How do you rank this game so far? Um probably still pretty low. <laughs> I could see it ending up in the same tier as like Paper Jam. So that's like third from the bottom. Still much better than Sticker Star, honestly. 
Port of Prisma was attacked, and the bridge in the Blue District was destroyed, it's kind of a problem. Okay, so we'll we'll make this happen at least. We got him. Look at this gate. Is it just me, or do these kind of look like weird mushroom-shaped keyholes? Maybe the gate will open if you find these three keys. I think we're just leaving now. <laughs> this game spoon-feeds you. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> It's, it, it's just kind of weird, because we've had some objectives so far where it's like... Where it's like, yeah, you just can't do that yet. I was hoping he'd have more, like, interesting things to say. But, uh, Huey is a big downgrade from Goombella. Like, Goombella would have something to say in, like, each area. When's a speedrun? Never. This game is funny. Yeah, that's right. So I'm, look I'm looking forward to more of the dialogue, at least. Oh yes, this was definitely a bridge. We started over there, and now we're on this side. Kind of at a loss here. It was really supportive. I don't even have feet, you know. Yeah, he could have just floated across. I can say without bias or hyperbole that mail is the most important thing in the world. Shout out to Paper Mario for teaching words like hyperbole to our youngins. Can we yeet him into the river? <laughs> yeah, him popping out so frequently is kind of tiresome. I, I, I almost wish he just, like, stayed out all the time. That way, we wouldn't have to, like, watch him come out each time. He could just follow us like a partner from the other games. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about that horrible customer who drained all of my cover color with a straw. No more straws for anyone. Drink with your mouths, people. I can't outlaw straws, because then only outlaws will have straws. Maybe I need a break. The cafe game is too intense here in the city. I need a change of scenery. Gunballs and Mario, huh? <laughs> I can't believe Color Splash has a pro gun agenda. Let's see here. Today's headline is Suspicious Thing Found in Harbor District. Harbors are a breeding ground for suspicion. Everyone knows that. Oh, okay, thank you. What happened? Did I fall asleep? The last thing I remember was that toad over there blathering on about something in the newspaper.
I guess we can go in here. I just learned how to do the fire flower ash commands. You want to come over and practice with me? It's the owner of Ruddy Road Cafe. I've got a lot of free time on my hands because absolutely no customers are coming, as usual. Come and hang out sometime, okay? It's Luigi! It's a me, Luigi. You know, your brother, Luigi, with the green hat? Have you visited the ringer yet? He just opened shop in the Port Prisma Harbor District. He's a bit of a shady guy, but very uh, helpful. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't trying to do an accent, no. <laughs> crooked sign, that's a terrible thing. I can't have people thinking this is a crooked business. I'll send myself to fix it right away. Priority mail toad. <laughs> oh, I fixed it. Nor Dragadon? Okay, specific. But the point is that we're back on this straight and narrow. The sign's fixed. I don't know what that signifies, but the sign is fixed now. <laughs> I think we're going to the Harbor District, but first I can look up here. But horribly Google translated. <laughs> I, I did see those videos from um, from Strider. I think uh, he's a streamer called Red Falcon Games. He did he did he did that as well for uh, Paper Mario 2. It looks like fun, but I think I'd get tired of it pretty quickly. <laughs> And plus, I mean, once you've seen one person do it, then, you know, there's no real point in doing it for yourself or watching it again. Uh, if you haven't seen it, though, you should check it out. Strider did it on his channel on YouTube. It's funny. I guess it was like a context-sensitive translation, which is interesting, but it also doesn't work at all. You're not a cop, right? Because you'd have to tell me if you were. It's the law. Well, let me assure you that I've pretty much acquired most of my goods basically legal, more or less. I, pro I provide a service that allows you to take some of your favorite things and give them the good old squeeze. They call me the ringer. Since you're new here, your first squeeze is on us. Now don't worry about the ringer. I'll be just fine. See, once you get your first squeeze, you never want to let go. You're hooked. That's how I turn a profit. <laughs> Oddly, like, realistic take on how drug dealers make their money? Okay. A very ambitious dildo. <laughs> the plumber's weapon of choice? Push down on the shaft to unclog even the cloggiest of pipes. Is that in our menu under items? No, it's under cards. Nothing squeeze worthy. Wait, what was that? Okay. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I knew you were Mario because I pride myself on knowing things. I also know things if you catch my drift. You must seek a thing that goes plorp. You, can, you keep it in your bathroom and you hope you never need it. <laughs> I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just a thing for you. 
I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. Apparently we need the, the plunger for something. <laughs> I don't know what for. I don't know where we're supposed to use it. I don't know how we're supposed to use it. Very confused. Oh, this is weird. Repaint all colorless spots to unlock. You've repainted 0%? My, so, I I think what this means is out of all the, the paint spots we've done so far, they don't add up to 1%? <laughs> is, that, is that what's going on right now? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe if we can't make it to 0.5%, it rounds down. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, we have a plunger we're supposed to do something with. Uh, yeah, I guess world map is fine, right? <laughs> you, already know, you already know how to use it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use it for that purpose. I don't think it would work too well for that. Um, my only thought is, like, can we use the plunger to, like, reach the paint star here? But that doesn't make sense, so I'll try this first. Nice loading screen. <laughs> Thank you, Huey. Very cool. <laughs> you kidding me with this? I should probably buy more cards, but it's not urgent. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do here? This was the place with the, the cafe, right? I guess we could go hang out with Toad. <laughs> That's kind of like a quest if you think about it. He was here, right? I think so. Huey doesn't seem very useful, I'll be honest. <laughs> he would rather just let us figure out how to do things on our own instead of using his flotation powers to help us. I think he was this way, right? Mario, help me kill these guys. Those masked guys may have tipped well, but I can't forgive them after what they did to my cafe. I'm trying to teach them a lesson, but I've been doing pilots, so I'm not heavy enough to squash them. All right, what? All right, they got me. This is a reference I don't get. <laughs> they got me. I knew, <laughs> I, I knew what a hyperbole was, but I don't know what this is. Physical fitness system developed in the early 20th century. It's just a fitness routine. Pilates? Pilates? Whatever. I get the joke now. Not pilots. Pretty sure it's pilots. But I was thinking if we jump at the same time, we could give him a real stomping. We could kill him right now. Our drop is faster than his, so, like, we have to start after him. Oh, God! <laughs> I feel so much better. Back to the cafe with me. Thanks, Mario. They're dead.
<laughs> I think that, what if this toad is secretly just like a psychopath? No wonder nobody ever, ever visits him. Yeah, I guess we did squash all of your clientele. But come to think of it, there was someone looking for a cafe like this. This place is perfect. No people around at all. This is a real sad mess of a cafe. Would you be interested in switching cafes with me? You could take my cafe in Port Prisma. It's always been my dream to be a suffering cafe owner. Just barely scraping by. Uh, what? But the Prisma Cafe is world famous. You've got customers out the years. If you really want this place, then yeah, I'll trade with you. Thanks for telling me about this cafe, Mario. This should cover your finder's fee. Have paint fly out? Yeah. <laughs> It's really funny. And they're just gone now. The sign being upside down really adds to the dumpy aesthetic. It's perfect. Ooh. I'm guessing these things heal you. Yeah. I guess we can leave now. <laughs> we are kind of at a loss as to uh, what we're supposed to be doing right now. It's it's kind of funny. If I mean, if I played this when I was younger, I'd be completely stumped. I mean, I'm kind of stumped now, but I'd be even more stumped if I was if if I played this when I was younger. And then just said, yep, off to work my stem off. Steam off. We gotta teach him a lesson, Mario. We gotta kill him. Help me squash them. The shy guys are like helplessly trying to hold up the the grass. Oh. <laughs> New quest, get a thousand coins to pay off the police. It's not working? Is it not all on screen? Oh. Stupid. Alright. Alright, we're cutting along the tree and the sign and the thing over the window. Now we're jumping on them, and now we're up here. Good job, team. Wow, we're on the roof. <laughs> I found a purple toad, too. Oh, there's more up here. I see two. Interesting. This feels like progress. Hey, look, a different looking toad. Excuse me. My stubby fingers. Wow. That toad sabotaged us.
We can run away. Oh, battle spin? <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a tutorial on fleeing. Please, uh. Battle spin is the best way to get an extra card in a pinch. You can use it once per round, but it will cost you coins each time. You know what? I'll throw in 10 coins to help you out, but that's it. I can't be paying for your lifestyle. <laughs> that's what he said on the lower screen. You can use the battle spin once per round, so why not give it a try now? You literally have nothing to lose. But what if you're out of coins? <laughs> what then? What then, Huey? Thank you for allowing me to fondle them. No problem, man. Toad looks like a weeb. Well, why? Is it the glasses? Just because you got, you got glasses means you look like a weeb? Is that it? That's not fair. I have, like, a... You could call him a supervisor at work now, but he's not really a supervisor. Uh, but... You know, he's just been making conversation with me. He's, like, probably a couple years older than me. He's like, you know, what games do you play? Do you play anything on PC? Who do you main in Smash? And I'm waiting for him to ask, do you watch anime? And I'm, I'm afraid he'll ask it, because then I'll have to answer honestly. <laughs> Getting very defensive for a weeb yourself? Nah, don't worry about it. So what's this alert? Poor Prisma's colorless spots. Oh. Have been 100% restored. Thank you for the very slow alert. I guess we're going this way now. <laughs> I got some a few days back since my eyes suck. Are they like your first pair of glasses ever? Because if so, that might, I mean, that might be a big change for you. When you get your first pair of glasses, it's like, it changes everything. <laughs> You're like, oh, was the world always supposed to be this clear? About a week ago, and my eyes are 2,500 and 2,600. I don't remember what those mean, but I'm glad you got new glasses. First pair of glasses, and they're amazing. Wow, well, that's exciting. Don't pull so hard, or you're gonna tear my legs off. Can you find another way to get me out of here with some sort of suction device or something? I don't care what you have to do, just unclog this stupid pipe. How do I use it? Oh. I'm cutting out the block that was there, for some reason. What someone with 2020 sees at 20 feet, I see it. Like it's at 500 or 600 feet away for the- oh, huh. That's interesting. I never knew that's what it meant. That seems really bad. <laughs> I think mine's like 2050 for one eye. They're explaining how to use cards right now in the overworld. I 
I, I think it said if you use the wrong card, it disappears, which means like you have to be careful when you try a new card. Because then if like if it doesn't work there, you end up wasting it. What's up with the music? You wash that plunger before using it on me. I thought my training prepared me for this. Anyway, I'm the leader of the Green Rescue Squad. Pleased to meet you. We received reports of trouble deep in the undergo underground. So we rushed here as quickly as we could. But we got ambushed as soon as we arrived, and my six squad members were all separated. It was bad. We got flattened, creased, folded, crinkled, ripped, torn. I got stuffed in this pipe like a little green spitball, and I'm the leader. <laughs> did that plumber, plumber, did that plunger look, uh, was it doing anything sensual for you, Danny? Extremely. <laughs> but if the mini paint star led us here, there must be another paint star in this cave. I thought we'd fight a boss today, but not at this rate. In fact, I should probably end it pretty soon here. I should go ahead and end it. I want to have time to beat Conquest tonight <laughs> before I go to bed. Alright, so I can't save right here, but I am curious. If I go to status... Oh, I see. So on the status screen, I can see all the areas we've gone to. So it looks like... You know how Crimson Tower looked like it was like the last level for this world? That's actually... Two, three, four, five, six. That's the seventh level in the list. There are two that we haven't gone to yet. So maybe next time, but maybe not. I don't know. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you all have a good night. Carlo is not streaming, so we're not going to host him. I don't know when we'll stream again. Not tomorrow, probably. Uh... I'll aim for Tuesday. Alright. Have a good night. Thanks, guys.